I see God blessing you. I see God blessing you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I see God blessing you. Amen. If you are working, expect a promotion. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And if there's a demon that has been followed, that demon was about to leave you. Amen. I, I say that demon is about to leave you in the name of Jesus. That, that demon will leave you in the name of Jesus. Many of you, when we enter into 2022, you will start to experience breakthrough. Yeah. A house, a car, marriage, yeah. everything that you are searching for is coming. Whatever that you have been looking for, now is searching for you now. Right now they are searching for you. Amen. The blessings you have been seeking, that now they are searching for you now. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Huh? Ask your neighbor, say, what are you looking for? Ask your neighbor again. Say, what are you searching for? I say, I see them locating you. I see them locating you now. In 2022, in Charis, you're going to have a lot of millionaires. I'm telling you, 2022 is your year, eh? Even though we'll tell you what kind of a year is that, but I'm seeing a lot of million. God will just pick, 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 pick. And give you money. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. I can't hear you. Are you ready for a breakthrough? Yes. Are you ready for that breakthrough? Yes. You must be ready for that breakthrough. Yes. You hear me? Yes. You must be ready. Yes. I'm telling you, most of you, the reason why Satan kills you when you get blessed, because you're never ready for that. But if you are ready, you know, you won't value anything, but you'll enjoy it. Yes. You won't value, but you'll enjoy the problem is that when you value something, you forget God. Are you hearing me? Amen. You won't value it, but you'll enjoy it. Amen. I'm telling you, we are left with only one month. Amen. One month. Yes. And re remember, remember what I've been telling you. Remember what I've been telling you. I, I will always say you will be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. Remember what I've been telling you. Amen. You'll be free. Amen. You, you'll be free to worship your God where, wherever you want. Amen. Remember last time we were talking about the issue of uh, what will happen in the elections. You saw it, eh? huh? But we said it's a small kick. But look what happened. Huh? Remember what I was telling you? I said it's a small kick to awaken these people. But we said what will come will be something very big. So now is there time now to put the house in order? Or else I'm praying that a prophet must take over. Because, you know, in the olden days, prophets, they used to be like presidents. Huh? I'm sure I'm speaking the truth. Huh? And do you think if we pray, God can hear us? Huh? <laughs> you know, now I have, I have this faith that whatever, if I have God, I've got everything. 
So now imagine if our, our country can be led by a pastor. Hey, we're going to have a prosperous country. I'm telling you. Lift up your right hand. I want God to give you a blessing. A blessing that will be visible even when you're not talking. You know, I want a miracle that will talk for you. A blessing that will speak on your behalf. Are you hearing me? I'm saying a blessing that will speak on your behalf. Lift up that right hand. Because God wants to touch you. And make you a leader of that family. God wants to make you a leader. Even though you are the firstborn, but you lead them. God will make you a leader. Even though you are the firstborn or the third one or the second, they will never know how you came on top. Because you are carrying the grace, you are carrying the name of Jesus. Everything to you will be possible. Are you hearing me? I'm saying because you are carrying what the grace and you are carrying the name of Jesus, everything to you will be possible. Lift up that hand. The grace of God must locate you tonight. Must locate you now until you go to sleep tonight. God must just be there. Whew. Hey. 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 You know, I, I know this God. These brothers here, all of you, the one, two, three, four, in Jesus' name. I see God choosing you and making you the first ever prophet in that house. I'm saying, I see God. I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Can I get a small volume there? I see God making you the first ever prophet in that house. And you must know if you are chosen by God, there's no one that will climb on top of you. Whether, whether they are educated or not. When are you moved by the grace of God? Listen. If there's something new, it will start by you. Many of you, the houses that you are living in, you don't like them. I'm saying the houses that you are living, you don't like those houses. Huh? You don't like those houses. I see God, you know, you'll relocate very soon. I say you'll relocate very soon. Are you ready to relocate? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Huh? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. 